Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second part of this uh, TV. I, this is the brand new LG NanoCell Nano 90 TV 4K HDR. This is the 55 inch version and this is the second part of gaming with the Xbox One X and this TV. This is HDR gaming. So on my first video I show you guys some of the settings that I'm using while gaming. But it was going to be too long, so I decided to make two videos, and this is the second part. So if you want to check out the first one, the first part first, so you can have an idea of the settings that I'm using. So uh, anyways, this is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Some of you guys requested this game as well, and I think it looks beautiful. Beautiful colors as well. Also, let me show you some of the HDR settings that I'm using on this game, because it is different. So you have a couple options. Let's go to HDR calibration. And then right here we have game style, HDR game style, and also cinematic. So I personally prefer to use HDR game style because you also have access to peak brightness. As in cinematic, you don't. So over here, peak brightness. And this is what I'm using, 700. And over here in paper white, I'm, paper white, I'm using 400. So this is these are the settings that work best with this TV. It may be different with your TV, but uh, this is what works best in my uh, in my opinion. Yeah, so this is Red Dead Redemption 2. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Of course, this game is very, very, very colorful. HDR. And also, this game is running at 30 frames per second. But honestly, for some reason, it, it feels very, very smooth. I like it. All right, so that's it for this game. Um, let's jump to another game, shall we? Let's do this. Hey guys, Joster here. Just a quick note before you start the video. I wanted to let you guys know that I teamed up with Luster to give you other buying alternatives. Whether you're buying a TV or a monitor or a soundbar or any product that I review here on the channel, Luster will give you other alternatives that better fits your budget from top reviewers at no extra cost and all is done through Amazon as well. So definitely guys, check out the links that I will leave in the description of this video or also in the comment section. All right, let's do this. All right guys, so now I'm playing Gears 5 right here on this TV. And this is like another one of those experiences that colors look beautiful. And especially in this game, colors look beautiful. The HDR is very good. But this game is very dark. So when it comes down to dark levels, you cannot expect too much. Oh, here we go. More customers. Yes. But anyways, guys, like I said, it's the same experience. Black levels are not that good. But what can I say? You know, you're, you're not... You're not having an OLED, you're not getting an OLED, but you're still getting really good performance when it comes down to gaming. Oh, I think we're winning. I don't even know what I'm playing here. I'm just... I'm just kicking ass. As always. Oh, 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 they got me. They finally got me. I didn't want to get, I didn't want them to feel bad. So I let myself go. But anyway, anyways, guys, this is Gears 5, and I think it looks beautiful. All right, guys, so now let's play some Horizon. Night Horizon Zero Down. This is Forza Horizon 4 right here on the Xbox One X. Of course, this is a racing game, if you guys love racing games. This is one of the best, in my opinion. It looks beautiful. It also supports HDR, joining a 4K, I believe. And it is at 60 FPS, so the game looks very smooth, very responsive. And of course, in this TV, also looks great. It's got a little bit of road. Oh, yeah. Landscaping got a thousand points so what's interesting about racing games is that 
in my opinion they have to be very very responsive you know oh my god I'm, I think I went over the over the other but anyways games have to be very responsive and also of course the display has to be able to run smoothly so they can you can enjoy a good game otherwise it's gonna have a lot of judder but so far in this TV on this TV this game looks fantastic it is very po uh, colorful as well Look, I'm running blind and I like it so if you're into racing games I think this TV has awesome response time as well low input lag that is also very important here so this is a really good option I'm not even sure where I'm going I'm just driving around town guys I think I ended up in back in the same spot where I started but anyways just wanted to show you how this looks and how it performs with this NanoCell Nano 90 TV alright guys so what about games that are locked at 30 frames per second right so this time I have Assassin's Creed Odyssey this is also a beautiful looking game I love this game and it plays very very good on this TV it doesn't matter if it's uh, 30 frames per second I, I still feel that it's it runs very smooth so I have no issues with that oh my goodness what did I do Don't mess with me but anyways the importance of this is that a game has to feel responsive you know so on this TV so far it feels good I have no issues with that and this also looks great oh damn I'm getting my my ass kicked oh I think I better run away from this fight too many of them but anyways guys I wanted to show you how this game looks on this TV running at 30 frames per second HDR these, these, these guys can't catch me oh my goodness there's so many of them we better run <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to handle it but all these archers it reminds me of snipers when playing Call of Duty they're just like annoying as hell they don't want to fight they just want to shoot from far so anyways this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey guys I'm gonna switch to another game right now let's do this alright guys so I have here Shadow the Tomb Raider as requested and my goodness this game also looks fantastic oh my god so it is colorful I like how it performs it looks very clean and beautiful well as I mentioned earlier I'm using the the wireless speakers which oh my goodness they sound so good I don't know if you guys can hear it but the cool thing is that I can control everything with here with my uh, TV remote controller the audio is amazing with these speakers the Platinum Monaco 5.1 highly recommend it guys watch the video I'm gonna I did a video about it beautiful and my goodness this game looks amazing as well let me see I also you can also change the either performance or resolution so I have high frame rate of course yeah let's change to high resolution instead see how it feels oh yeah I can feel the difference it's just like it's I don't know it looks all blurry I see some jutter I guess I gotta get used to it but no I highly recommend using the performance mode 60 frames per second I, I believe it is it just feels so much nicer so better very very smooth and this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider guys beautiful game so anyways I'm gonna cut the video right here in my opinion 
I I will highly recommend to just save a little bit more money and go for an OLED. I mean, once I, I've been touched by OLED, I'm just like, it's so hard to look at other TVs. But my second favorite will be an LCD with a VA, with a VA panel. You know, like those uh, Hisense, the HAG, look beautiful. And I'm expecting to see also uh, to work on the H9G. So, we'll see that video pretty soon, guys. But anyways, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. This TV sells for around 1100 something like that. So, this is the 55-inch version. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out. Oh, hey guys, Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, if you enjoy this content, if you like this kind of content, if you'd like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, bec you can become a member just Hit that join button you get access to some of the emojis that I created and also you get early access to some of my videos the aftermath of the live stream that I do but mostly just want to support this channel hit that membership program all right I'm working on more videos right now so make sure you stay tuned for more I'll see you guys Joe Stura.